Hey, my name's Dee Dee. I'm a first year graduate student working on my master's degree at the University of Maryland College Park in atmospheric and oceanic science, as you can see. I've actually been at the University of Maryland for the past five years. I'm in our combined four plus one bachelor and master's of science program. So I've been doing research for the past two and a half, almost three years in my undergraduate research. I researched the role of stratospheric air intrusions on rapid cyclogenesis over the North, North Pacific Ocean. And now I'm researching wind dynamics in the extratropical transition of Hurricane Michael from 2018. I do my research at NOAA's Ocean Prediction Center, which is located at their Center for Weather and Climate Prediction, which is in College Park. It's about a five minute drive away from campus and it's right next to our metro station, so it's very easily accessible. There's a lot of opportunities for students to do research off campus at NOAA Center for Weather and Climate Prediction, or even at our Earth System Science Interdisciplinary Center, ESSIC, which is also located in College Park. They do a lot of research and contracting with NOAA that has a lot of student opportunities for specifically students in environmental science related fields at the University of Maryland. So that's very cool. But our faculty also have a very diverse range of research that you can get involved with on campus. So we have faculty who do data simulation, modeling, air chemistry, oceanography, dynamic meteorology, all kinds of different things. So anything you want to research, there's probably somebody here doing it either on campus or over at Essex or NOAA. Being so close to NOAA and also Essex presents a lot of cool opportunities for students in our department. So I've gotten to attend conferences at NOAA, gotten a ton of networking experience. I've attended open houses. Also, again, my research is over there, so I got that opportunity. But it's really, really good for students at the University of Maryland College Park because we kind of get preferential invitations to certain events like that, including like I said, conferences, but even AMS events that are held in Washington, D.C. We're only a 20-minute metro ride away from the heart of D.C., so a lot of conferences and events take place there that our students typically always get invited to because we're so close and we have a strong reputation as a department. But we are a very small department, which is a good thing in my opinion. So I know nearly every faculty member in our department by name, there are a few I haven't gotten the chance to work with, but most of them I either know of or I know them. We have a weekly seminar that all of our grad students attend and some of our undergraduates attend as well. And that's where we kind of learn about the research that the faculty are doing, what other students are doing. But we also have guest presenters who present on their research and their work, sometimes from NASA, NOAA, other universities. We've had people from the UK come and speak. There's a lot of different opportunities for networking and getting involved with research through that as well. And being small also means I know all the students. So I've been at the University of Maryland for five years, so I'm very familiar with both the undergraduates and graduate students. You'll get to know pretty much everybody by name, either through classes, through seminar or other events, research, or through our student club. So we have a graduate student club called Meteograds, which is sort of like in undergraduate, they have an AMS student chapter. It's sort of like our graduate student version of that. It's just not called AMS, but we do the same sort of things. So we do all kinds of events through there. We do happy hours, we do game nights, which Sometimes we collab with the undergraduate AMS club as well. And so we have joint game nights where graduate students and undergraduate students get to mingle. But we also hold Skyborne classes where you can become an official storm spotter for the National Weather Service. Cool things like that we get to do. So that's really, really cool. We recently had a Bob Ross paint night. As you can see, this is my Bob Ross painting by me. But that was really fun. So there's a lot of cool opportunities for student life in our department and also in your professional academic and research opportunities here. So far, I have not had a bad professor. 
I've enjoyed all of them. The class sizes are small because we're a small department. So it's normally about 10 students per graduate class. Some of them obviously are more filled than that. We have some classes that are open to other departments as well. So like aerospace engineers will take them. But I've never had a class size where I didn't get to know the professor on a one-on-one -on -one first name basis. And it's very easy to get involved with research through talking to professors as well. But having that small class makes it really easy to learn. I haven't had any issues learning the material because all my all my questions get answered in class on class time, which is really good. But yeah, we are a very small, tight-knit department, but we have a lot of diverse opportunities through faculty, student life with DC, NOAA, all sorts of different organizations. And I know you won't get to visit due to the unfortunate circumstances of COVID-19 this year, but hopefully you'll get to come soon. And I hope you consider the University of Maryland College Park for your graduate studies. And I hope that this video was able to help you get some sort of feel for the department and for student life as a graduate student here. So with that, I wish you luck and hopefully I'll get to meet you soon.